This is the guy that beat me with the stupid Machamp. All right, this is the guy that would have just let his Porygon die. This Porygon wants to die so badly. I will appease him. I will just kill it. All right. Scarfini with Soak. I like it. Yeah, if he wants to just lose his uh, Pokemon. There's two ways I can do this. This is fine. I'm just going to kill it. All right, we're going to game two against Galen. I'm not going to make the same mistake as last time. I'm just going to high jump kick his Porygon until it's gone. And then that's it. He doesn't have Intimidate support. This guy has nothing to stop my Mosa. I went for a sub last game and I got Trick Roomed when he should have just died with his only Trick Room setter. Salazzle Mudsdale. See, he's making the correct play here. He's probably going to rock attack, whatever, rock, wake, make my Pokemon weaker attack. Do I re I do not want to fake out a Mudsdale. That's not what I'm about. It's not. It's really not what I'm about. I have an idea. Watch this play. Watch this sick play. <laughs> this is going to cost me the game. All right, so I'm going to Encore that, that Salazzle so it doesn't fake out me. Or if it does fake out me, I'm protecting. But I'm going to Encore it into fake out. On the first turn of the game. If for some reason he decides to just flamethrower my Togemaru. Like a, like a pro player. I'm going to feel sad. And there's, no, there's nothing I can do about it. But I'm going to try this Encore tech. And it's going to work. Please try and fake out me. Thank goodness. Wait, you fake out my Togemaru? Why? Why would you... F I, 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 it's not a terrible play. It's not bad. But, like, it doesn't get you anything. It doesn't get you anything you didn't already have. That's like the thing. Like, you've done... You wasted your fake out. You blew like your your big opener on on this. Okay. Togemaru's gonna be switching out for uh, Garchomp. He doesn't know that I used Encore. He just saw that I flinched. Actually, he does know that I attacked with something. What if I did this? Here we go. Specs Tapu Coco, Porygon. No, it doesn't. Oh, it's after Soak. Okay. So we're going to try and one shot his Salazzle. Yeah, but he's probably just going to flamethrower us, and we're probably just going to lose. Yep, he's going for the flamethrower. Who's he hitting, though? Oh, he's hitting the Ferramosa slot. I forgot. This guy doesn't understand how, like, targeting works. So he's probably going to high horsepower the Togemaru, which is completely okay. Because we're. we're tra oh, he's earthquaking? Why? 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 I don't freaking get it. Like, it's not its not a terrible play. It's its not. Because, like, he gets a double KO. He would have got a double KO on Mosa. But, like, how am I supposed to see that coming? I'm, I'm just not, I guess. I have a Garchomp and Mosa. And if his way to beat stuff is by rock sliding it, he has a Coco. All right, I can win the game then. Um, I bet you there's a sash on that, on the Salazzle. Alright, we're going to Poison Jab the Coco, Swords Dance with Garchomp, and that's the play. And we're going to win. We're going to come back, and we're going to win. Poison Jab Coco, please go away. Swords Dance, please don't kill me. Don't be Scarf Coco. Don't be Sash Coco. Don't be Poison Reduce Berry Coco. Coco protects. So he's going he's gonna to Earthquake me again. Please don't earth. Uh, I mean, he actually he could speed reduce me with a, a rock other attack, rock tomb. But he already showed rock slide. He's gonna have rock slide and rock tomb and earthquake on his on his mudsdale. No, he just has rock slide. Cool. Hey, we take those. That's big damage on Mosa though. Do you guys think mudsdale gets one shotted by a swords dance Garchomp Z move? Survey says, take a guess. Cause I'm gonna use it. I'm going to tech rage that thing into the ground. Into the ground. And poison jab. Just go away. Just be just be dead. Yes. Beast boosted, boys. Alright. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I can come out, somehow climb my way back from the depths of hell. Because I think... Well, he wouldn't have sent out Porygon there. He wouldn't. So maybe this is a bad idea. If I don't one-shot this guy, I could lose. Because he's going to KO our... our 
my Ferramosa with Rock Slide. So, uh, just please go away. Like, you haven't taken any stamina boost. You're probably full, like, HP attack with an Assault Vest. Just get one shot. Just let it happen. Yes. Just, just let it, just let it go. We had, we had plus two Garchomp, plus one Mosa. Your last Pokemon is Machamp. Ugh. Do I double protect just to scout what movie he's locking himself into? Would that even get me anything? It make it, yeah, I am gonna double protect because if he has protect, he's gonna use it this turn, right? And then it'll make it so I can high jump kick him. Forfeit. But we take that too. All right, we did. We didn't lose. We put us. We put an end to the losing streak. And we managed to correctly play Pokemon. Relicant and Pelipper and Golduck. Relicant and Golduck. That's overkill. Why don't people do that? That sounds busted. Oh, it's because you auto lose to other weather with that's your team. All right. Um, I gotta try and Tailwind. I gotta go Togemaru Aerodactyl. Cut my losses. Uh, then Ditto is actually pretty decent. But then, like, I have no other way to win. Like, he even has the Marowak. The Marowak's the reason why this doesn't really work. I gotta do Garchomp as my last Mon, and I don't want to. But I am. There we go. This is the best I got. Bake out, stop the Tailwind. He's just gonna wait it out. Maybe I'll Swords Dance on that turn. Okay. I'll do that. Yeah, I can dig that. I can totally dig that. So I'm going to fake out his Pelipper, set up a Tailwind. He's going to Z-move my, uh, my, um, what is it? My guy. He's going to Z-move my Togemaru. Next turn, I'm going to Sky Drop his Pelipper to incapacitate it and Swords Dance. And I think, oh, yes, he's leaving Marowak, not Golduck. You're going to be so much right away right now. You're going to be so much, so much undeserved freedom. What have I done to deserve all this, uh, all this freedom? I think I'm just gonna fake out the Pelipper then. I don't even know if I'll die to a Foil Blitz. Like, what's he gonna do with Marowak? He might just hard switch it out. Fake out Pelipper. Yeah, he might just switch it. So I'm gonna Tailwind now. It's probably not a good idea, though. What if I fake outed and just Rock Slid? And then next turn I can Tailwind. And we'll trade the Tailwinds. Fine with that. I don't have to Tailwind yet. I don't want to Tailwind too early. You know, Marowak's protecting. I can Encore that. Cool. Lose your Sash. Appreciate it. Maybe he's trying to block a Z-move. This is going to be big damage. Yep. I'm just going to fling. I can Encore that Marowak and trade Tailwinds right now. Or... I can Encore the Marowak and try and hit my Rock Slide. Or I could fling the Pelipper and Rock Slide again. I'm going to do that. Because I think the Marowak's switching. Well, then the correct play would be to fling the Pelipper and Tailwind. Tailwind this turn. Because I think someone's switching this turn. I think he's going to switch to try and save his Marowak. Oh, he's Pelipper's protecting. So then we just Encore unless he one-shots our Tokemaru. Which is possible. He's probably a Shadow Boning our Aerodactyl, though. I really thought he was going to switch the Marowak out. Ooh, he has EQ. That's good. Good for him. That's good, cool tech. Which means he uses this lead a lot, because it's, like, planned. But I'm actually kind of happy that the Togemaru's gone, because now I can bring in, like, a real power play Pokemon. I can bring in, like, Garchomp or something. I can just go with EQ Rock Slide, and I'll be good. I don't even have to Z-move. I can Swords Dance. I can Swords Dance this turn. And if I get the Swords Dance up, I think I'm in a pretty decent spot. What does he have? A bunch of, bunch of Scrubs. I'm going to Swords Dance. And I'm going to Rock Slide. Rockslide will be able to take out the Pelipper, right? Come on, show me the money. Marowak's going to protect? Obvious. As long as we hit and KO the Pelipper with Rockslide, we're going to win. We're going to win. 
Oh my. Why? Why, game? Why have you forsaken me? Game. The game hates me. It, the game it literally just hates me right now. We both have Tailwind, but he has like two turns of Tailwind on me now. <sighs> this is my last turn. Oh, I have two turns. He has one turn of Tailwind on me, so that's not that bad. Both these Pokemon have Protect. Not the end of the world, but it sucks. Probably going to Protect. I'm fine with that. Why couldn't I just hit Rock Slide, though? Like, why, though? Rock Slide plus EQ is going to be able to take out Marowak. I still have Coco in the back, right? Or it's Ditto. It might be Ditto. I, I might be switching out Aerodactyl next turn for Ditto. We'll see. He only has a couple turns left to rain. That was really unfortunate that that had to happen. Got a crit, didn't need it. And we have to expect Golduck or Relicant there to maximize on the two or three turns he has left of rain. There's the Golduck. Pelipper just protected, right? Hmm. There's two turns left. This is my last turn of Tailwind. I think I'm going to just come protect with my Garchomp and go for a Rock Slide. What? Actually, we're going to change it up. We're going to Sky Drop that Golduck, and then it's going to land, and we're going to Earthquake it, and we're going to guarantee that Golduck's gone. He's going to drop Pelipper. This is perfect. We're not, going to be able, we're not taking any damage this turn unless he Z-moves our Garchomp, and then we're just taking Chip. Oh, but then we can't do the combo next turn. Let's go for Ice Beam. Cool. Oh, oh, we avoid damage this turn, which is, like, good for me, I think. I don't know if Relicanth has a move. Usually Relicanth pack the Z-Rock move. I'm just going to go for the EQ. Because right now this is going to be skipping his turn in the air. So, like, I could do this. I could do this. I can get a double one-shot here. Unless that's a Sash on Relic Camp, but I really don't think it is. But he let his Pelipper get uh, Bake Out on the first turn of the game. So, we'll see. This is the last turn of Rain. And, like, I have Coco in the back. And this is his last turn of Tailwind. So, like, I think I'm in a good spot. He has to flinch me or crit me. Don't you do either. Rough Skin. Breaking it. Sky Drop. Yo, just show me the money. Show it to me. Show me that Earthquake. Show it to me. Garchomp use Earthquake. Yes. Good tech. Good good tech me. Easy money. Double KO on the double Swift Swimmers. That's why you don't use it. Because they both just died a plus two Garchomp. All right. Posing Tailwind Peter out. Now all we got to do is hit a Rock Slide. We got two Rock Slide users and a Tapu Coco. So we got to make the right. We got to make the right play. We gotta make the juicy rock slide play. And we did it. Now that felt good. That felt good. Sky Drop was definitely the play there. Yeah, you know, he tried to make a really cool read by switching in the Relicanth, and uh, I knew I was safe just because I had a Sash. He tried to check the plus two Pokemon. But if I would have hit my rock slide, I would have like 4 0 him. It would have been like easy if I hit that first rock slide.